Quitting alcohol. It's not easy, but in this video, I share the easiest way that I've found that works. It's kept me sober for almost six months now. Alcohol addiction can be one of the most difficult addictions to overcome because it is such an accepted part of our society. Unlike most other recreational drugs, it is socially acceptable to drink. It's not very acceptable to start smoking crack at your family's Christmas dinner, but everyone drinks. It is normal to drink alcohol, to celebrate. We drink to have a good time, we drink to have fun, we drink to be more confident in ourselves. But you are probably watching this video because you no longer drink for those reasons. Alcohol has seeped its way outside of the occasional social event and into your everyday life. And I am willing to bet it's been part of your everyday life for much longer than you would have ever wanted it to be which has led you here, looking down the barrel of sobriety, ready to pull the trigger. So if you wanna quit drinking alcohol, the first thing you have to understand is why you drink in the first place. People drink for all kinds of different reasons and people think they drink for all kinds of different reasons. Because I'm celebrating, because I'm bored, because I'm stressed out, because I'm depressed, because I'm in pain, because my life sucks, because, 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 because. And I'm not going to discredit any of these reasons. However, there is one reason I believe most people drink alcohol. And it's the one reason people will allow alcohol to completely destroy their lives. And if you can overcome this one reason, you have the best chance of quitting alcohol completely. So I'm not gonna get into exactly what alcohol does to the brain. I'm sure you're not here for a lesson on brain chemistry or human anatomy, but in layman's terms, the main reason we drink alcohol is because the thought of doing it excites us. We look forward to it. It's that simple. And excitement is the most extreme form of happiness. Ultimately, we drink because we want to be happy. When we first started drinking alcohol, we really enjoyed it. It made us feel good. It made us feel more confident. It made us have a good time. When we first started drinking alcohol, we associated alcohol with pleasure in our brain. We ingrained into our subconscious that this is what alcohol will provide for us. So to this day, the thought of alcohol and how it will make us feel is exciting. Just like it was when we first started drinking. However, that was a long time ago. And you know as well as I do that alcohol no longer provides anything it promises. Let me ask you this, and I want you to give me your answer in the comment section. How long does the excitement you get from alcohol last? Does it at least last until you're buzzed from the first few drinks? For me, the most amount of pleasure I experienced from drinking alcohol was the excitement I got just thinking about it before I even started to drink. I would be at work and the thought of having a nice cold beer after work would send a shoot of excitement into my brain. And then I couldn't wait to get off work to have that beer. But then as soon as I got off work and as I made my way to the liquor store, I would start to feel depressed. Because even though alcohol subconsciously gave me pleasure, I consciously knew that I didn't want to drink anymore. I consciously knew what the consequences were. I knew how much control it had over me and despite me not wanting to drink anymore, I knew I was gonna do it anyways. And that was the most depressing part, that I did not have control over myself, that I willingly gave alcohol permission to control and destroy my life. All because the thought of it excited me. But now that I'm sober, 
It's easy for me to see how ridiculous that was. How willing I became to trade my entire fucking life for a little bit of excitement. I have seen how much alcohol can destroy people's lives. And in my opinion, it's proof of how desperate we are to feel excitement, to feel good, to feel happy. And as sad as that is, knowing this actually creates a solution. If we are so desperate for excitement that we are willing to gamble away our entire life to get it, maybe we need to find something better to get excited about. So, in my opinion, the easiest way to quit alcohol is to replace it with something else that excites you. Something that really excites you. Something that excites you more than alcohol. But something that doesn't destroy your life like alcohol. Something that is much more rewarding in the long run. And if you're having trouble finding anything to get excited about, well, that's probably because you've been drinking for so long that you don't even know who you are anymore. And a huge part of quitting alcohol is rediscovering who you are. Because during your drinking career, alcohol was your passion. If you were drinking every day, you were very passionate about alcohol. And if you were drinking for years, you pretty much got to go all the way back to before you first started drinking. What were you passionate about then? If you can find your passion, it's the best chance you got to say goodbye to alcohol forever. For me, I think I'm pretty lucky because despite alcohol, I actually have a lot of passions. There's a lot of things in my life that I'm passionate about. Most of them revolve around self-expression. I enjoy music, I enjoy writing, I enjoy making videos like this. This YouTube channel literally gives me more excitement than alcohol ever did. I get excited knowing that people like you are watching my videos. I get excited knowing that I can create my art and share it with you. It makes me happy to know that there is actually someone out there listening to what I have to say. So for that, thank you for watching. It literally means more to me than you'll ever know. And before I wrap this up, please do me a huge favor and click the like button, subscribe, and don't forget the bell. So the bottom line is, the world is a huge place full of amazing things. There are billions of experiences out there waiting for you. And the fact that you have become ignorant to all of it and instead chosen to drink poison because it makes you feel funny is in my opinion a pathetic waste of your gift of life. Go out there and discover life. Discover yourself. Discover how exciting your life can be. Find a better source of excitement and I promise you, soon alcohol is <laughs> just not going to seem very exciting anymore. Thank <laughs> you.